Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, Jason. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Okay, good. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, midweek, midweek is tough, especially for moms and mm. then school. And some of us are fasting also. So, yeah. how fasting. are you doing? Okay, great. great. <laughs> how is fasting so far? Uh, we are, I think, two weeks in. So we probably mm. use we are probably used to it already. But a lot of us are excited for the coming holiday. And then, of course, for you all, it's a super long weekend coming mm. up. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. So today we are going to really do the application of uh, communication hacks, and also please share the link to your friends who may need this, so that they can uh, have better communication with their children. And we have yes. wonderful. Uh, I have wonderful uh, freebies and uh, really a Facebook uh, a group that we want to share with everybody. So yeah, please go and share, and like. And yes, and yes, and yes. Share, share, share. As many people as you can who can benefit from this. Mm. Even mums who are expecting, if you're not even married yet, you know, you can benefit from knowing all these things before you step into the era of motherhood. Right. So, also, yes. uh, like friends who have children, yeah. So our this series today we're going to focus uh, on the younger children, right? But of course, I also can share. We also can share the implications, you know. Like if we do it right, yeah, we'll have wonderful uh, children next time. You know, when they grow up, okay, so in, it's starting from the earlier stage. Yes. Of course, yes. But of course, any age, right? It's always good to upgrade our skills uh, to improve our communication skills. Okay. Yes. So, very very good. So let's go. Uh, so go and share. Okay, and then we can start right in. Uh. Yes. Share okay. share share. A lot of great tips yeah. coming up. And give some thumbs up and hearts. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's see. Okay. So right. we can go Stop. ahead and share a bit. Okay, let maybe let's recall what we talked about last round. We had a session about two weeks ago and I okay. think we really went about an overview of what we want to address in this series. So Jesse and I we really talked about helping people bridge the gaps in communication. I, I think the okay. very special thing is even though you and I we are very parent centric, very children centric, I think we need to remember that whatever we learn is applicable across the board. Mm-hmm. So even if we tell you it's really for your kids or it's for like older kids, young kids, whatever, actually a lot of the the, le- the learning points that we get from our sharing yes. is applicable in a lot of aspects in your life. So it's Correct. very, very useful. But for children, I feel that uh, parents are more frustrating, okay? Because they yes, are like, uh, like uh, they want to teach everything they want. They want to impart their skills. It's a little bit different from like colleagues or a little yes, bit different yes. like husbands. So it takes a little bit uh, like for us, we are mummies and we have been teaching uh, mummies as well, you know, mm-hmm. and parents as well. So we are like in a better position uh, to say examples relating to children. Yeah, because yes. we, know we are so... As we are very tight yeah. to our mum and kids now. Basically, that, right. that was very close to our heart and we also work a lot with mums and with children and we really find this is something that we can share and or useful mm. to all the moms out there. Mm. So, so you don't go to the route that we have may have gone before, like mistakes that we have done before. Yeah. So yes. we want to uh, benefit everybody here. So yeah. So the so we have learned learned the last five love last five languages. Five language, yeah, yes. correct. Last time, okay? which is great. So, so we, we touched on five love languages the last time. So yes. for this round, maybe we do a bit of recap before we jump into some of the tips we have to share with you all today. Okay. So yeah, maybe maybe we just start with uh, both of us first. Okay, so sure. maybe some are, some are new uh, who have come into our life. Okay, so welcome, welcome. So this is about communication. It's about parents, you know, who wants to have a happier life, you know, dealing with the children. So I have a YouTube channel and I have a Facebook page so you can get more value out of this. So you can go and subscribe and then follow me. And for myself, I'm not only a parenting coach, I'm also a study coach as well. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> too fast already. <laughs> Okay, so the second slide is about uh, let me see, yeah, uh, press first, yeah, about Mimi. Okay, so she's our okay. productivity wow. All right. Wow, yes. Justin, why your intro so short one? Justin does a lot of things okay. again, but she's really the parenting expert, and 
Therefore, I'm a very suitable partner for her because I partner with the mums, mm. and um, so I'm a productivity coach for mums and more for working mums because working mums they have to juggle work and kids, yes. and I really sh- help them, give them the tips that they can get to bridge that gap or achieve the things that they want for themselves while doing things great and well with their kids as well. Yeah. So yeah, we make a great team, guys. We make a great team, guys. <laughs> yes. So uh, we we like uh like I mean nowadays we are so caught up about our education system, which indeed is really tough. So that's why I'm a study coach because my myself have gone through uh the real you know teaching my kid you know and they are they are doing very well now in school. So that's why I also a coach to parents as well as the kids so that to help them in their studies. Okay. So uh this is us you know we want to share more with the world. Okay, so today, yes. uh, how to communicate with a toddler before they have the words. Okay, this is uh, what Mimi has, has uh, prepared. So let's listen to her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what I what we thought of sharing today, she not just me lah. Jesse and I we we've discussed and we mm. thought that today we want to start from small to big. Mm. So we're going by the age range. Yes. So for the younger kids, I think some of the challenges is that they don't understand what we're saying or they don't understand. We don't understand what they are saying. Yes. So. The three L's that I always like to share with people, something that I do with my kids, yeah. is number one is we have to listen attentively. So a lot of us we are either answering a phone call, or messaging somebody, or doing something while okay, we pay attention. Them. Yes, so they know you see because when we stop paying attention to them, then they also stop giving us the same amount of attention. So when they don't pay attention to us, then the communication breaks down. So that's one. I think number two is we we'll let them finish. So whether they can talk or not, sometimes they really want to uh, 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 show you something, or sometimes even when the young baby, what do they do? They mm. cry, right? Um, so cry, babble, cry. babble, babble, or make some noise. Da, 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 da. Right. Or like come and find you if you're breastfeeding, then they will come and find for your milk, pull your shirt, things like that. Mm-hmm. So these are all forms of communi- communication. Yes. So these are non-verbal communications that we really need to master when we approach and try to learn about our kids. And the last one is language. So the language part is not English, Malay, whatever, Chinese. Indian, okay, it's really not that kind of language. It's really understanding their language, language. which is what we actually talked about, right, last week. Yes, the language, love, love languages. languages. Yes, so it's how they try to get our attention, and then we have to understand how they like to receive it back. So maybe an example I, I can share from my side. Mm-hmm. For my kids, right? Actually, my oldest kid, she's, she's very affectionate. She loves to write for me cards. You know, like I love you, Mama. And she would draw oh, this and draw that. That's so sweet. Yeah, it's so sweet. But my second one, right, is completely not like that. She's not affectionate. She's mm. very clear cut, direct. I want very this. Good. Yes. So how what what she observed, right, was I was responding more to my older kid. And her drawings, and oh, you know, oh, so nice, you know. Yes. Oh, I love you too. Then when my second one doesn't do it much, I don't really engage like that. So she feel a bit off. Mm. She started trying to copy. Okay. Uh, so okay. she's trying to copy. She's like, okay, my mother communicate with my my older sister like that this. Way. So maybe I also need to try. But it's not her in her nature, you see. But I think she's trying her best to change, which I think I applaud that. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So what I realized right was my my fault was that I really felt, hey, how come I didn't notice this, and I didn't actually try to see how she likes to feel love from me. So that was when I really um. That was when I really went back to the reflect, three reflect, reflect. Yeah. yeah, I went back to the three was like. Okay, how do I how do I uh, engage with my second channel? So that is an example of different love language, really. Yeah, cannot so have the same formula. Cannot, you cannot have the same formula, <laughs> and you have to be careful of the cues that you give up uh, because when you respond a certain way to one child and the other child is observing you, okay. So you need to be very careful when you have more than one kid. When you have only one kid, I guess you need to be careful when you're in public. Uh, when when she observes how you are. About with other children or with other people's children, and if it's different from how you're with them, then they're gonna be confused. So a lot of explanation is to be done later on. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we learn. We learn yeah. from experience. We learn. Yeah. Yes. And, <laughs> and we have to change accordingly, and we cannot take everything the same way. Same, you know, like maths formula like that. It's not going to work. 
<laughs> no, no. Oh, the expert talk about pets really. <laughs> yeah, because it's true, right? We thought that same same kind of it works for this. I can use the same for this. It, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not, right. not so much lah Not so much Yes 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 great, great. So I don't know Maybe from your side Do you have any Anything mm-hmm. to share that Does this three else Apply for the older children Of course children? Of course Because then Also there's one thing Is that you know When we When we do Listen intent- attentively We're also actually Teaching them To do the same Right Because among them They also need to Communicate with their, their friends Okay When they grow up as well As well as now They actually observe And you're actually Listening to me Giving attention So it also helps The child to be more focused uh, What I can tell you Is that It helps them In their learning Yeah oh, because okay. It's not easy for a child To listen attentively You know But the way that you Have to do Is to really appraise them Say oh it's very good You have listened to mama So nicely You know So patiently You know You must praise them For children I, I think you agree with me right For young yes, children definitely. Correct Praising effort also, I think my next slide will be about a bit about praising appropriately. Mm. So I I I did this one? Yes, yeah. that one yeah. yeah. So I think praising is good, but you cannot just praise without reason. You need to mm. praise appropriately uh, at yes. the right time. I As, think a specific also, right? Yeah, specific. Okay. And it's I think really really the mistake I have made a million times. Okay, a million times is to praise results. So, oh. you know, you get a certain score. I'm like, wow, your score is so high, but you never praise how long the she effort. studied, oh, okay. how much effort she put in, how many days of hard work she put in. So sometimes they think that you only notice the outcome. Mm. So I think this is something we we need to also remember because mm. even for ourselves. When, when we do something We also want people to know Like when you cook all day right correct. Cook all yes. day Then people say Hey why is this one salty Yeah <laughs> correct <laughs> salty, So like. you must also be uh, Very specific You know You are like You know you, you did well Because So I also would ask The, the child the question So why you did Why you what are the why you did so well, you know? So then they will tell you they will think, oh, because I follow the instruction, you know, I actually uh practice again. So it gives them the effort to think again why they have yes. done it, so they can repeat it again, right? So thank you for the tip. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's very important. So, yes, it's very so important. Yes. So the other two points I have is the discipline with love. So for me, discipline, mm. you have to discipline, but yes. it's not. You know Stick Stick And yes, farm yes. anymore It really doesn't work Okay No, no, uh, no. It doesn't oh, Nowadays work. the kids Doesn't work Yeah they don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. Their, their neurological Development is super Next level Compared to How we were Generations ago mm-hmm. So we really need To encourage The questioning And mm-hmm. answering awesome. And And tell them the What is right And the wrong then after that They will eventually Kind of figure it out On their own Yes So the A is about Assuming nothing assume For nothing. me You don't assume that They feel this Or they say this oh, I mean oh, I think okay, feel I Yeah I, I think feeling We like to assume What they feel like <laughs> Hey why are you so sad You know I just All I did was Give your sister this what You know That kind of I think what you meant about. Is actually uh, I understand is that Actually kids will say A lot of things Right but you don't uh, don't think too much about it, okay? They are just comments, right? Yes. That's what it meant, right? It doesn't mean that, you know, they are angry with you. I think the, the most common thing I heard is that, hey, hit you, mommy, you know, that kind. Uh, but I, I tell you, it's, it's, <laughs> to me, it's nothing, okay? Because yeah. all the children will say that, okay? And I think you talk about discipline, right? Well, I want to tell you one theory a lot of uh, parents here must know. Children will keep pushing your boundaries, okay? It will yes. do it. This is their job. Okay, I think if you if it's, you are it's in, their job, yeah, it's their job. So and that that means they are actually being thinkers. So it's actually a good thing. Yeah, but we we are we have to be firm because we yes. are not children. So that's why do not have some, uh, no, do not have. Uh, I I feel that we must add this about feelings, right? Okay, don't feel that you know you are you are like less having less love or your child will feel less love if you restrict certain things. I think this is one most common problem with parents no. nowadays. I feel. 100% agree with you So you feel like You have to take them To expensive holidays Or staycation Or buy expensive gifts And you think that That is going to exchange For something Like when they say I hate you Okay I'm going to give you this Now you have to love me But it's not It's actually it's not, it's not even They don't even mean What but they say Most of the time Actually yeah. you have to Really dig deep To find out What is it That they are trying to do I think so, for, for my case It's more on the Studies part You know Sometimes when I, I Coach parents right They are very Reluctant to Instill some discipline Okay They feel that If they do it 
you know, they love me less. Oh. You know, and I feel it's a it's something I really want to bring out. You know, is that you know, there's nothing wrong with discipline. You know, but like I say, with love, you know, letting the child understand that you know you have a stand, and also the child must understand your point of view, right? And whether they they say things like I hate you, you know, I think it's normal. Okay, don't feel that you know your child really hates you. Okay, I think it's normal that they, right in front of me, you have three kids, yes, right? Yes, of course. I have one daughter. She's eight. You know, they are learning how to express themselves, learning how to have moods, how to have hormonal changes. Yeah, don't bother. Yeah. You know, just stick yeah. to what is really the right and the wrong, and don't yeah. don't sway lah. You know, don't don't be inconsistent. You know, like yes, correct, very important. <laughs> You must stick to your guns, ah, uh, mummy. You know, yeah, stick yeah. your guns. Don't let them make you manipulate you. Yes. I think that's that's something. They are very fond of doing it. Okay. They are. They, they love to do it. Fun. And and it's it's just so important, you know. Like I I want mums to know this as well. Okay, I have a lot of mums that I've worked with. Always tell me, they feel like people think their kids are like that. <laughs> you know, like they yes, have this have the this same. sense that. Why? Uh, oh, if I bring my kids, so people are gonna think this is nobody cares. I mean, you really should care what people yes. think. We yes. understand how parents are. Yes. You, you guys should really have a stand that and be firm with what you are as a mom because you are a mom and you are the best person to yeah. raise your kid, your kids. Correct. Oh, nobody correct. else really. Yeah, be confident, you know. Yeah, and, and know each child how they are like, and then raise them. Of course, uh, of course. With like knowing more about the parenting, or not like learning yes. more about uh, from other parents, is also will help you a lot. Learning from us as well will help you to expand your horizon. Or whether I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing, you know, I think that's also important because we yeah. do not have a parenting like you know a manual, you know. <laughs> so we we have to really learn. Yeah, yeah, that's know? a very very important point. That's why I love coaching moms one on one. When I talk to them one on one, really can learn about their problems, what they need, and then we it's really give them solutions, mm-hmm. solu- solutions, confidence. Yeah, that is very tailored to what they are going to. They're facing so, right now, yeah. So yes. to, like today, I'm having lunch with uh, one of my students, uh, my mentee's mother. You know, like you know, she's going through a lot. You know, so I think it's really, uh, it's not only by coaching the student. I also I work with the parents a lot so that they actually uh, do better in their studies because studies. To me, ah, uh, it's not just the methods and the. It's actually a round, very rounded, uh, yeah, holistic. improvement. Yes, so that they can actually do well in the studies. So everybody has to realize that, ah. Uh, so it's not only just method study yeah. future. No, eh? it's actually you yourself is the most important as parents. Yeah. The mom, the mom is really the pillar because especially doctors, ah, uh, I find doctors really need a mom that they they really look up to their mother, you know, and mm. I I really see a lot of. Even the teenage kids that I teach in polytechnic, right? The girls, teenage is it? girls that, that really some of them their their greatest desire is to just be, be close like to the their mom. mom, be like the mom, and oh, sometimes okay. it's really my nice. heart is just ah, it's so lucky they're daughters, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but sons too, right? They they they, they want to, to they're very close to their mom. Sometimes they, all their desire is some sort of role modeling. So also, even if dads, if any dads are listening to this, you know. Don't ever think that you don't have a part to play in the household. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. My my son ah uh, says he's gonna find somebody to marry like me. So I say this. Oh. Uh, yeah. So it's it's. I think it's like what you say. Lot daughters want to be their mothers, and sons want to marry the woman like your mother. Ah. Yes, uh, yes. So so you all have a very important role to play. Uh, so let's all learn. Oh, so sweet, together. your son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son is only one last. <laughs> He probably don't know yet who he's gonna marry. Yeah, but I think really it's uh it's true really your conscious effort to be a better parent, right? Your, actually, your children will see through, and then you yes. really enjoy the benefits. Ah, uh. when you put that like you know the seed or not, you plant the seed, right? When they're young, that's why I say we start with conscious communication. Okay, if you give the right like you say discipline, you know, which I think okay. Uh, to me, I just spoke to uh an educator today. And why she contacted me is because she says uh, a lot of problems comes from the parents. So, oh. <laughs> so she wants somebody to educate the parents as well. So it's very interesting that really is if you are doing the things that you know uh, not right, yeah, you know your child mm. will definitely also not right. Okay, so she gave me an example of the tuition, like Good Friday, you know, just had Good Friday, right? She actually yeah. the parent actually allowed the child to have like one day rest because my child wants to rest from Good Friday. So she was like open her mouth and then say. 
I myself is like putting my effort to to teach on that day, you know. And you say you want to miss the lesson, so it's a it's a it's a oh. yes and not the attitude you give to your child is that okay, I can just miss any lesson that I want. So I want to really tell everybody is that you know, please look at yourself. You know, are you giving the right vibes to message yes. your children? Yeah, yes. you 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 is what do you wow. think? I have the perfect example for this. You know, the other day, uh, my daughter was asking me about step uh, step parents. Okay, this can be a bit sensitive, but she actually had a her friend in school who shared that she has a stepfather. So she I didn't see. understand what it meant. So she came to ask me, and then uh, the message was very simple. She asked me, "Stepfathers are bad, right?" She asked me that no. because where does she get this connotation, right? From where Cinderella? Oh. You remember Cinderella? The stepmom was very mean, mean I right? See, I see. Hey, they so remember. They imagine, uh, imagine they the remember. father set bad, set that also bad, lah. Yes. Yeah. So they associate very well, and they associate for a long time. That means don't think that they will forget. Okay. So okay. you really have to plant, like you said, ah, uh, plant, the, plant seed. the seed. Yeah. Yes. And when you send that message, you have to really think what message am I sending to my child if yes. I say this. So very important. It's really yes. very important. Mm-hmm. And I, li- I, li- I live with my parents also, so they watch how I interact with my parents. They watch how I'm respectful to them, or if I'm rude to them, whatever they will just mimic. So you got uh, the best advice I can give to moms just before we end. Uh, I just mm. want to say, be who your best version of yourself. Uh, okay. is going to create the best version of all your kids. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, really. Because if you are not sure about yourself, right, they will also not feel sure about themselves. So that's why I really love working with moms when I, when I say, why don't we spend some time, help yourself first, and then you will find everything will start falling into place. And it really always happens like that. So it's quite magical. So nice, yeah. nice. Thanks, 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 yeah. Mimi, for sharing. Yes. So we all need to have, uh, yeah, do ourselves. Uh, do ourselves a uh, good, you know, to actually show our best version of ourselves, right? Yes. yes. So. You first. You first. Mm. And there you oh, go. Roll the a- Ah, yay! Yeah. Thank you, Mimi, for this uh, wonderful slide. Okay, my mother was my role model before I even knew what that word was. Yeah. So they yeah. look up to you, right? Look up. They to do. You. They do. So. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go, and then now we can nicely mix uh, in your yeah, CLO. It's the same as what we have gone through, lah. Like, really, we need to uh, listen to them, right? We can encourage them, we give them choice. I think this is uh, choices means like for a young toddler, maybe really, like oh, you want to eat this or eat this, but either the answer you want, uh, so it's fine. Okay, so do this to your little ones. Okay, sure work. Yes, <laughs> it works. Yes, it works. Yes. It works. I've tried it a million times. Alright, correct. <laughs> So okay, we have come to our end of our our, our little hey. live. Okay, so I have this webinar. Okay, that's for uh ages for if you are a parent of age ten to sixteen. Okay, I know that exams are coming next month, as well as the national exams uh nearly at the end of the year. Okay, so yes. yeah, so we all need to learn how to learn better. Okay, how to help them. Okay, or your children yes, can invite them. Yes, super yes. important. Super yes. important. So it's uh it's going to be in two weeks time. Okay, so take down the link. Okay, so that you can come to our webinar and talk to me. Okay, if you think your your child needs help, you know, yeah, we'll be inside the webinar to help you. Okay, so ten to sixteen, and uh, how to score better. Okay, the right mindset, motivation, and methods. Right. So Very me, important. These are long term mm. skills. Yes, yes. You guys Lifetime have skill. to sign up. Have mm. to sign up because yeah, they will free. be learning for the rest of their lives. Correct. We need to know how to do it right. Yeah, Mimi is a teacher, right? So yes. that's why you know, so important. No. Yes. Very important. Super important. Oh, there All you right. go. Alright, so uh, importantly is the link just now, I will put it in the comments. Also, my Telegram group, you know, because I would love to share oh. to my latest videos and my strategies as well as live like this, you know, I will send the link there. So, take the link and then uh, join yeah, the gonna, group. I'm going to join now. Oh, okay. Yes, how come, Mimi, how come I'm not in your group? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so thank you so much for all this. And uh, Mimi, we'll see Thanks each other everybody. again in two weeks' yes, time. We'll have okay. another one soon. It was Yay. awesome. It was great. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye, Mimi. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.